Ankhnes Neferibra, the living legacy of Nubian Egyptian greatness in the heart of Egypt during the 26th dynasty, a period marked by the resurgence of ancient traditions and the assertion of power, a remarkable woman emerged, a princess and a priestess whose life was deeply intertwined with the spiritual and political revival of her time. Ankhnes Neferibre, daughter of Pharaoh Psamtik II and Queen Takuit, stood as a beacon of continuity and strength, bridging the worlds of royalty and divinity. The Princess and Priestess Born into the ruling family of Egypt during a period known as the Said Renaissance, Ankhnes Neferibre was destined for a life of significance. Her father, Samtik Thekin, was a pharaoh who sought to strengthen Egypt's position both internally and externally, balancing the resurgence of traditional Egyptian culture with the realities of a world influenced by foreign powers. Queen Takwit, her mother, was a woman of noble Nubian descent, infusing Ankhnes Neferibra with a rich cultural heritage that blended the strength and resilience of Nubian and Egyptian traditions. As the God's wife of Amun, a title of immense religious power, Ankhnes Neferibre was not merely a symbolic figurehead, but a pivotal player in the spiritual life of Egypt. This role, once held by royal women of previous dynasties, was revived during the 26th dynasty as a means of consolidating religious and political power. Ankhnes Neferibre, through her role, commanded vast estates, controlled significant resources, and was integral in the religious ceremonies that were believed to maintain the balance of Mayat, harmony and order in the universe. Greatness in the 26th Dynasty The 26th Dynasty, often referred to as the Sate period, was a time of renaissance in Egypt. The pharaohs of this era, particularly Samtik II, sought to restore Egypt's greatness by reviving old traditions while adapting to the changing dynamics of the ancient world. Under Samtik II's reign, Egypt experienced military successes, including campaigns in Nubia, which were crucial in reasserting Egyptian dominance in the region. These military expeditions not only solidified Egypt's borders, but also reaffirmed the pharaoh's divine right to rule. Ankhnes Neferibra's role as God's wife of Amun was central to this era of revival. Her position allowed her to wield influence over the priesthood and the temples, which were key to the state's power structure. The wealth and resources under her control contributed to the stability and prosperity of the kingdom, reflecting the interconnectedness of the religious and political spheres in ancient Egypt. The legacy of Ankhnes Neferibre Ankhnes Neferibre's life was a testament to the enduring legacy of the Nubian Egyptian dynastic bond. Through her, the influence of Nubian culture was woven into the fabric of Egyptian society, creating a blend that enriched both civilizations. Her role in religious life helped to sustain the cultural and spiritual traditions that were essential to Egypt's identity. The greatness of the 26th dynasty, embodied by figures like Ankhnes Neferibre, was built on a foundation of resilience, adaptation and reverence for the past. It was a period where the power of tradition was harnessed to navigate the challenges of a changing world. The spiritual and political power of Ankhnes Neferibre. Ankhnes Neferibre Ace Tenure as the god's wife of Amun was a strategic move by her father, Samtik Theku, to ensure the stability and continuity of the Sate dynasty. This role was not merely ceremonial, it was the cornerstone of the Theban priesthood's power, which in turn was a linchpin in the broader governance of Egypt. Ankhnes Neferibre's position allowed her to act as an intermediary between the gods and the people, a responsibility that brought immense respect and authority. Her influence extended beyond the religious sphere. As God's wife of Amun, Ankhnes Neferibre controlled vast temple estates and resources, which were critical in maintaining Egypt's economic stability. These resources enabled her to fund large-scale construction projects, ensuring that the temples of Amun and other deities were not only places of worship, 
but also centers of economic activity. This flow of wealth and resources through the temples strengthened the economic backbone of the state, contributing to the prosperity of the 26th dynasty, the Nubian-Egyptian connection. Ankhnes Neferibre's heritage as the daughter of a Nubian queen and an Egyptian pharaoh symbolized the deep and complex relationship between Nubia and Egypt. This connection was not merely one of conquest and dominance, but also of cultural exchange and mutual respect. Nubia had been both a formidable adversary and a valued ally to Egypt throughout its history, and the marriage of Samtik II to Takuit was a reflection of the desire to unify and stabilize these two powerful cultures. The cultural fusion that Ankhnes Neferibre represented was evident in the art, religion, and administration of the period. Nubian traditions were incorporated into Egyptian practices, and this blending of cultures enriched both societies. The presence of Nubian elements in Egyptian religious rituals, fashion and governance during Ankhnes Neferibra's time as God's wife of Amun demonstrated the strength of this bond. Her very name, Ankhnes Neferibre, meaning her life belongs to the beautiful heart of Re, embodies the synthesis of Nubian and Egyptian spiritual beliefs, creating a new paradigm of leadership and piety, a dynasty anchored in tradition. The 26th dynasty's emphasis on tradition, as seen through the role of Ankhnes Neferibre, was not a retreat into the past, but a calculated strategy to affirm legitimacy and unity. By reviving and venerating the roles and rituals of earlier dynasties, Samtik II and his successors sought to reinforce their divine right to rule. The presence of powerful female figures like Ankhnes Neferibre in religious roles was a deliberate move to connect the present with the revered past, invoking the authority of ancient customs to govern a new era. The temples of Amun, under Ankhnes Neferibre's stewardship, became the epicenters of this renaissance. The rituals she oversaw were steeped in ancient traditions, yet they also addressed the contemporary needs of the state, blending old and new to create a stable and prosperous Egypt. Her influence ensured that the temples were not just religious centers, but also hubs of education, culture, and economic power. The enduring impact of Ankhnes Neferibra the legacy of Ankhnes Neferibra is one of resilience and adaptation. She navigated the complex political landscape of her time with skill, ensuring that the spiritual and cultural heritage of Egypt remained vibrant and influential. Her ability to balance the demands of her dual heritage, Nubian and Egyptian, while fulfilling her duties as God's wife of Amun, left an indelible mark on the history of Egypt. Her story is a powerful reminder that greatness is not achieved in isolation, but through the blending of traditions, the forging of alliances, and the wise stewardship of resources. Ankhnes Neferibra's life teaches us that true power lies in understanding and embracing our heritage while adapting to the needs of the present. Conclusion The Wisdom of the Ancients as we reflect on the life of Ankhnes Neferibre and the era in which she lived, we are reminded of the timeless wisdom that comes from knowing one's past. The greatness of the 26th dynasty was not merely a product of military might or economic wealth, but of a deep connection to the traditions and values that had sustained Egypt for millennia. In Ankhnes Neferibre's story, we see the power of cultural continuity, the strength of religious devotion and the enduring impact of wise leadership. In our own lives we can draw strength from the past, using the lessons of history to guide us in times of change. Just as Ankhnes Neferibre and her dynasty look to their ancestors for wisdom, so too can we look to our own heritage to find the resilience and vision needed to shape our future. The past is not just a record of what has been, but a foundation upon which we can build our own legacy of greatness. Kindly click like, subscribe and share this channel.